Welcome to another tutorial from Moho Simple Rig, Flow, where animation meets clarity, creativity, and community. Hello YouTubers and animators, welcome again to another tutorial. And today we're going to do something very simple, how to draw a character, but it's going to be easiest way of how to draw a character. Okay, so I've got my workspace here on my canvas. I'm going to add new image here. Right, I'm going to find, let's say, image of a house. Okay, so I've got this house here. Let's say this is a house. We'll do different, uh, various images. So now I need to draw something similar to this house. Maybe this house was in something else and you just want to get a part of this house. So what are you going to do? Just add your image and then go to a draw. and then go all the way to trace image. Once you click trace image, now this image is gonna be traced and you can see it. You can choose as a color, you can choose a, a photo edge, you can select uh, alpha or black and white. So for, if you want, you can just go straight to, to color like, like it is and then you can do any adjustment here. So for example, you can see that it's gonna change different, different color. If you want, for example, like this red or this one okay let's leave let us leave in uh, this color for now and this is detail reduction how you want it to be details you want it to look a uh, different style or you want it to be actual or uh, exactly like the original image you can just do it here and this is the line but because we we have to increase here and then we can deal with the line so okay so there's no outline of this image but we will just uh, click outline from here. Once you have done that, click OK. Now, you can see the new layer has been created and uh, the original image is here. It's here, but it was hidden. And this is the new image which ha have been created. OK, so it was in PNG before. Now we were able to draw it using layers. OK. This is the good way. So, for example, because with the PNG image, it's hard to to animate sometimes. But when, because we have trusted, it, we can do whatever we want with this image. Everything it is in the same layer here. For an uh, image like this, it's okay, but you can still uh, separate this layer. So, for example, if I'm going to add new layers here, new vector layer, and I'm going to go to the original uh, trust image, I'm going to draw around with the lasso just this bit here. Okay. And then Control X. I have removed that. And then I'm going to click on layer number four and V and Control, uh, Control V. So we have got our new layer here. However, this uh, layer it shows like uh, it's uh, like, like the image hasn't been created yet. The uh, what do you call it? The shape, but you can easily create a shape again, and then you can select the color. Sometimes it's automatically it's gonna be created. Sometimes you need just to to create yourself. So you can see now we have got another window here. You can do whatever you want with this image. So for example, I need to trace the doors now. Uh, I'm just going to take the door. I will just go around and get the door. This is good because, for example, if you want to make this house like door is opening, then this is the way to go. Okay, I'm going to see. Yeah, we got it. However, it comes with the other part of the house. That's not an issue. Even if you control X, the house is going to stay there. And I'm going to uh, control V into that layer. And you can see that we have got the door here. Go to create shape. And we have created another shape. And you can just color the way you want with this door. Okay. So I'm going to go with the lasso, uh, lasso around. Bring it here. And just to zoom it and see what I can do with this. So sometimes there's nothing on it because we need to connect these dots. 
we need to connect this dot and once we have connected it now it is easier for us to to add any uh, color on it it's gonna be much more easier now okay right so I have shown you this is the house which is easy I'm gonna delete it now okay delete everything delete uh, this layer and delete the house itself now I'm going to add another image this time it's going to be image of uh, a character okay so let's have a look what we have here uh, let's look for trust image and for example this one it's already in white background okay so I've got the image of the girl we're gonna do the same way once the layer is selected here just go to a uh, draw and then trace image now with this one I'm gonna get a uh, uh, the the same um, what do you call it selection if I want it as a color or if I want it as black and white I like to do black and white because I can uh, add the details from here so for example if I choose black and white I can increase and decrease this you can see okay so usually I would do with this threshold just like this and I can now insert that uh, trust image now you can see this is our image and the other one is hidden now I can bring it back if I want and uh, um, what I'm gonna do is to color this around so if I select inside here I'm just gonna do the color and then select that color fill color and change and you can see we have painted inside this image we can do the same thing with the how with, with with the other part of the body if you don't want this way then you need to trace this image draw trace image and select color and you can adjust the way you want this image to look so for example like here yeah this look it looks much more better and then we can just gonna have a look other options as well yeah once we've done that yeah that is much more better so we've traced it and because this image was on transparent background which was not actually transparent you can see it has added a lot of things but that's not an issue at all okay we can still select only the image uh, we want okay if this doesn't work don't use a transparent background just use any other image which I'm gonna bring it here so I've got this one it's not in the transparent background as you can see it is in a blue background go back to uh, draw trace this image and we are going to select color and click OK if it crashes then just do it again sometimes that might crash okay it looks like uh, Moho has crashed. Okay, if this happens, delete it and go back to the original image and try to reduce the details. Okay, so draw, trace image. Uh, let us try to reduce some details maybe okay let us do something like this yeah that work and then we can bring back the original image and we can select each part of the body back 
So for example, I'm gonna select the head. Even if you select the other points, don't worry about that. We're gonna fix it. Go to new layer, new vector layer, and uh, control V. just to bring the head back. I'm going to hide this one so that I can have access to this image. Now you can see from here the image is here. However, the best way to do this is use black and white. Okay, delete that and we're going to do with the black and white. Okay, so Go to draw again, trace image, and let's go with the black and white, and then reduce the threshold. Do not reduce too much because when you are going to use paint bucket, okay, so you can see with the black and white, it, it is much, much more better. As you can see from here, and then you can select some of the details to delete them. So for example, like here, I can use transformation tools and adjust some of the details. So what you are gonna do is just uh, select maybe these, de these details here and click delete on your keyboard. Keep doing that. Don't worry about uh, going uh, all the way. Or you can use, best to use this one Okay, so this is the best way to delete those details. Okay, once you have reached here, now what you're going to do, put together the hair. Let's delete some of the points here for the hair. And then we'll be able to put together the hair. Okay. Now delete some of the details on this side as well. Now go to transformation tools and do the hair back here. This is going to save you a lot of time of drawing a character. character. Uh, reduce some of these points here, but this time use delete. Okay, when you are happy that this is okay, I mean, you can do le little adjustment, which is much more quicker than drawing this photo or this image from the beginning. Okay, and then now we are going to do the details of the head here, remove this one which we do not want. I'm going to take this out because we do not want that. Okay, so I'm going to put these points together, together to create a shape. So we have got a shape for the face now. We'll have to do the same things. This happens sometimes. Sometimes you don't even need to do all of these because once you have trusted the image, you can get separate uh, parts of the body, for example, like hair and uh, head. So what you can do now is just to go around and uh, try to delete some of these points and uh, then uh, join other vertices together to create another shape. So I hope this video helps you. If it does, then please share, subscribe and like it. And don't forget to watch uh, uh, another tutorial and also uh, uh, visit my other channels where I will be using all of the characters here to to make a video you can see them in motion so thank you very much and uh, until next time stop to think should I really be asking it this that's why I use duck.ai from Good morning, everyone. hey did you see the new bus come on let's go inside why is there so much traffic today I don't know, but we better hurry up, or we'll be late again. Emma, guess what?
My cousin brought chocolates from Switzerland. I saved some for you. Oh, really? What kind?